I am the carry on queen. <laughs> Hi pretty people, it's Crystal and it's so good to be with you again. I am about to do some traveling in the next couple of weeks and I thought it would be fun to show you how I pack because I am the carry-on queen <laughs> and so how I pack in particular my beauty products, my toiletries and my makeup. I pack strictly carry-on so I have the regulation size roll-on carry-on and that's where my clothes and what shoes will fit go and then I have the shoulder bag tote and that is can go under the seat and I pack it as much as possible with maybe any remaining shoes and the items that I'm about to show you in addition to whatever hair products I need. I've gone to Asia for two weeks with those same items and never had to check a single thing. For various reasons I'm not into check-ons. First of all, I've been I've had things lost and stolen years ago because I haven't deliberately checked anything on unless they just made me <laughs> in years. The other thing is if I travel for work, I cannot risk standing by that carousel <laughs> and my makeup kit and products not coming around because they cost a fortune and I'd be able, unable to do my job when I arrived. So I have to carry those things with me. And so I have mastered downsizing and these are my personal uh, makeup products that you'll see. In the last vlog, I believe it was, that I did, I mentioned um, packing and some of my packing techniques and somebody asked um, to see them. So hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as I did sharing it with you. If you are one of those fun people that hang out with me over on Snapchat, then you already saw some highlights of this and saw me choosing the, the makeup products I was going to pack and things like that. But if you haven't, then here we go. Now, I start by using this... Um, this carrier, and you've probably seen something like this around. It hangs up, which is wonderful when you get to your destination because you can just hang it on the back of a door. Everything is neat. You can get ready um, out of the little bags and not have to make a mess on the vanities or the dressers or the countertops. I think that I, I can't stand clutter, especially when you know it's a group of girls and you're all getting ready. I can't stand the the room looking like a disaster area because that really takes away from the fun, the elegance, and the glamour of the occasion, I think. I like everything to look, you know, clean, neat, and pretty, and carriers like this um, help that effect. So the great thing about these clear plastic bags is that they're detachable. So you have the convenience of pulling them off and taking them wherever you want as well, or um, if you don't need all of them, you can detach them as well. This first bag up contains um, my toiletries. So let me show you some of the favorite things I like to bring with regards to those. New pair of uh, exfoliating gloves. I absolutely adore these for cleansing the body. And remember to toss these in the washing machine. I'm bringing many sizes of my Melanie Mills Body Gleam. This is a gleaming body radiance, so you get a beautiful golden sheen. Now the one thing I love about the Melody Mills is that it's not like teenager or tacky. It gives a beautiful, grown-up, elegant gleam to the body. And when you have exposed skin, like if maybe your legs, a little leg, a little decollete, a little shoulders and arms, this is a beautiful finishing touch. Definitely make sure your body skin looks as good as your face. And then just for a little extra glimmer, I'm bringing this one of um, Max Glitters. And this one is absolutely beautiful. It looks white in the container, but it's actually a beautiful gold. And so sometimes I'll put a little of this um, in my body oils. I also have something similar to that. This looks white in the container, but it actually is an ultraviolet purple. Toothbrush, of course, um, sunscreen. I have um, travel sizes of sunscreens. I use the kids, not because it's any more gentle really, um, but it does have a high SPF of 50. You can get these containers in bulk from Amazon. They come, you know, empty and clean. And for the first time you open them, it actually clicks. So it's a locking seal the first time you lock it, which is very nice. It comes with either a dropper or you can remove the dropper so you can empty the product quicker. And I have like things like um, face cleansers, 
um, moisturizers, all sorts of liquids and squeezable creams in containers like these. In my skincare, I have Max Lip Conditioner, which I used to swear by, but I could swear this doesn't feel like it penetrates the way it used to. Or it could be that, that the one I was really fond of was in the pot and not the squeeze tube, but I, I don't know. I used this forever and I used to swear by it and now it doesn't feel like it sinks in quite the way it used to. I don't know if they changed the formula or my lips just need more attention. <laughs> then I have a face SPF. I've been loving the Lancome face SPF. So for your favorite perfumes, this is Coco Mademoiselle. Get yourself a little rollerball or the little sample size. You know the little sample sizes that nobody cares about that they throw at you sometime when you make purchases and you don't really intend to wear? although you might smell them, save them for travel and you have a fresh new fragrance to have fun in. This is a Clinique sample container, but I save things like these and my face moisturizer is in here from a different brand. So these little containers, these are tips and tricks to downsize products that are in containers that are too big to carry on or that can't get past TSA. Never in a million years would I bring something like a full-size toothpaste or a full-size lotion, but I see girls do that all the time. And um, of course, stores like Walmart sell sets of containers like these small travel size containers. And I put things in here like my secret sauce, which is like oils and body moisturizers, little blends I like to create with essential oils. And I put them in bottles like these. Let's move on to the makeup. <laughs> Next bag we'll go through is the foundation of any fabulous look and that's our foundation. <laughs> so we have this Inglot Face and Body Illuminator. This is great for highlighting areas and also mixing in your foundation so you get this beautiful glow or also mixing in with your body products so you also get that beautiful golden goddess glow. And uh, in the vlog, provided the vlog turns out well in a couple of weeks, you'll see what all this glitter and glow was about. <laughs> okay, for foundation for daytime, I have decided to bring the MAC Pro Longwear because it keeps its promise and it lasts as long as you do. And I'm going to bring also the um, NARS Velvet Skin Tint. Now, although, I don't know, I have an issue or two with the way this sits on the skin or the way it wears on my particular skin type, but it has an SPF of 30. And so combined, I do like the final finish of these two together. And I think they'll perform well during the day and in the heat, because it's going to be a warm climate. And then for my evening foundation, that's, you know, being away is not the time to use, you know, things you're not familiar with. That's when you want to go to your reliable ride or die gorgeous products. So I'm bringing my Nara Sheer Glow because I know she's never let me down. She'll give me perfection without the look of makeup. I'm bringing my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Uh, to set the makeup, give me a beautiful glow um, without the shine. And Kevin Aquan, this is delicious. I could have this in every color and never use another brand of foundation, literally. This is absolutely beautiful, but that's my concealer. I'm going to bring a second concealer just because I feel like spoiling myself. And so I'm going to bring my NARS. Um, this is the matte concealer. I'm going to bring that along as well. And then because the MAC powder, um, it's not a totally matte powder and it's also not an oil control powder. So I want something to mattify certain areas so they don't get shiny. So I'm gonna bring this Urban Decay. It's a powder foundation actually, but I do like using it to set my foundation. Next bag up is primarily cheeks and lips. So now we're getting into the color products and we'll go through this and I'll show you a little bit about you know what my thinking is so that I will have you know a variety without overpacking. If I had my way and I just had unlimited space I would bring a ton of makeup. Number one because I love it. <laughs> Number two because I love having options and in my imagination I am going to create a different look to go with every outfit and I'm going to have all these color options but in reality, after traveling for a few years, I realized that that never really comes to pass. I usually just end up using 
um, a handful of products, <laughs> two or three different looks the same look each day because I'm usually running around or running late for some activity. So I've learned to narrow it down to just a few looks. Still probably more than most. So the first product of NARS. First blush I'm taking is this blush duo. This is Albatross. It's a pale gold. I don't use it as often. I need to. Um, but this is Orgasm Blush by NARS. Beautiful pink blush with gold shimmer it's very sheer but it's one of those things that should be sheer it's a beautiful daytime glow this is one of the prettiest blushes ever made this is Taj Mahal by NARS it's absolutely beautiful if I understand correctly this color was inspired by Naomi Campbell and rightfully so, because this is stunning on deeper chocolate complexions. Everybody can wear this, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to use, I would say not even a blush brush. I would say to use something uh, like a dual fiber, very, something super airy and light. And you do not swirl in this. <laughs> you just tap it and lightly swirl on the cheek and build it up a little at a time until you get your desired effect. If you go right in, cue up the circus music. <laughs> if you notice, I'm doing a little bit of um, every sort of undertone, every sort of feel. I've got the orange, the golden orange, and then I have the soft pinks for day, then I have the more intense pink. If I do something on the cooler side, um, in addition to that orange. And then for day, I also have Give Me Sun, which is a beautiful mineralized skin finish by MAC. And I'll probably use this just to warm up the cheeks at, in the daytime when I'm really on the go and just skip the blush altogether, but still have a pretty, uh, pretty flush and shape to the face. This is MAC's Oh Darling. And uh, this one was that special edition, so it's in the blue packaging. And I'm also bringing Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown, stunning absolutely stunning those will be if i want to light up the cheeks a little bit let's talk lips i have quite a few <laughs> so this is silly and absolutely beautiful hot pink by mac that i forgot i had it's a matte so it's that soft matte finish can't wear to wear that so that's gonna be my pop of pink when i want to do pink at night and if i don't feel like the matte texture then i'll add a little of this uh lip glass bringing one of Too Faced melted melted candy this is one of the prettiest hottest colors it's absolutely gorgeous on all skin it just leaps off of the complexion and you don't need much else in one of my ysl shades this is a beautiful peachy shade so that'll be pretty for a day or if I do a really intense smoky eye, then that'll be a nice nude. Bright on. This is Mirage. She's she's down to the wire. Maybe I'll buy a new one while I'm there. Um, but that's for when I want a hot orange lip, maybe in the evening. You see, I've got my pinks, orange. It's also my reds covered. I broke out the ruby. Woo. <laughs> this is still one of the prettiest reds. One of the most elegant, rich looking reds on everyone. Real Sexy by MAC. That is the, this is the prettiest peachy coral. It's absolutely gorgeous, day or night. And then I'm gonna bring a, a few lip liners along and I brought just a variety so that I have enough. I've got two reds, I've got Beat and I've got this beautiful Milani red. This formula is rivals any high-end formula this milani true red lip pencil let's see which formula the true intent true let's see the color statement lip liners by milani their quality rivals any high-end lip liner just fyi <laughs> then i've got magenta by mac that's a beautiful color to intensify the lip lines with your pink and purples i've got chicory by mac where is it here's chicory by mac 
And so that's like, that can go either way. That can go with your nudes, your roses, your browns. So that's more from a neutral looks. And then I have a nice orange by NYX. And let's take a brief pause for the brush cause. This is my brush case. <laughs> but here are some key brushes. A lot of those are the Sonia Kashuk back from her anniversary set. They have worn so well. I'm very satisfied with that particular set. If her other brushes wear like that, I would definitely purchase them again. But those are mixed in with some of my higher end um, brushes. Now we're going to the eye bag. Where am I going without Stila's um, Magnificent Metal <laughs> Glitter Shadows? So these most certainly will be for evening looks. So we can go pale and princessy, or we can go deep and smoky and glamorous. You can see that's pretty much the theme running through the way I packed. I've got it so we can go soft and natural, or we can go intense and smoky or somewhere in between. I've also brought things so that we can go cooler or warmer or nude. Here is um, one of my homemade quads and I have a nice selection of uh, neutral shadows and then a little pop of color in there. I'm bringing some really beautiful eyeshadow options. And what I try to do too is pull things that never get any love, you know, in a normal day. So I've got beautiful colors like this extra dimension skin finish. Look at that. So I'm planning like a beautiful uh, silvery blue look. I might smoke it out with a navy or a plum or black. I've got, um, of all things, this color is called Showgirl. <laughs> That's a beautiful steel gray. I have um, my NYC liquid liner because she's inexpensive, but she performs like she's high end. I have pigments in here. This is a navy by MAC. Also, ooh, a really, a really good staple for day or night, melon by MAC. So that'll give you a, a beautiful pale peachy gold on the lid. You can just do this in a swipe of liner and be done, or you can do this in an intense crease. Also have Black Track Max uh, Black Gel Liner. I have a matte black eyeshadow because you know that's a staple to boost any look. Um, I have a deep chocolatey brown. So I've got all my uh, warm and cool, light and dark bases covered. That's not nearly as many as I would like to bring, <laughs> but um, I think we'll be cute. <laughs> So those are the highlights of how I pack beauty and makeup for travel. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was just a fun, girly time to sit down with you and share this. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, perhaps a vlog of the travel I'm about to do. But whichever video it is, I look forward to seeing you soon. And until we meet again, keep it pretty. Golden.